In this developer productivity video, we're going to take a look at how to customize your keyboard shortcuts in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to press Command Shift P on Mac or Control Shift P on Windows, and that's going to open up the command palette. From here, you can start searching for the keyboard shortcuts. And then you're going to see the two things, right? The default uh, settings and then the JSON file. So I'm just going to open up the default settings and that's how you get here. Now, once you're here, you're going to notice a ton of different key bindings and it's pretty complicated and you can actually mess things up pretty quickly. So first, let's take a look at how you can add a key binding and then we can take a look at how to undo any possible mistakes that you make by accidentally entering an incorrect key binding. Now let's get started with a simple little demo of how to add a keyboard shortcut to toggle between Zen mode. Now if you don't know what Zen mode is, it's basically the mode in Visual Studio where it removes all the unnecessary stuff and you can just concentrate on the code. I've currently toggled on Zen mode, so if I toggle it off, you're going to notice that you know we get this sidebar, we get our folder view, we get these line numbers and everything like that. I want to be able to toggle between Zen mode with my own own custom key binding. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can go to this section, which we opened up with command shift P and searching for keyboard, and we can start looking for Zen mode. And when you do that, you're going to find this command right here, the key binding, and also that the source is default, which means that VS Code automatically added this key binding to enter Zen mode. Now what we want to do is press right click on here and then add key binding. And what we can do is start pressing the combination that we want to uh, set up Zen mode. So I'm going to press Command Shift M. And as soon as I do that, you're going to notice here that it says there's already an existing command. Let's see what that command is. And it turns out that that command opens up this problem section in VS Code. I've never used this, so I don't mind replacing Zen mode with Command Shift M. So let me uh, remove that and go back to Zen mode. And this time I'm going to again click add key binding, command shift M. And this time I know that this command, I don't really care about it, so I'm just going to press enter. And as soon as that happens, you're going to notice that, uh, you know, this Zen mode key binding has been added by the user. So now we can toggle between Zen mode by pressing command shift M. As you can see, we are, you know, simply toggling between Zen mode. And that's how you can quickly and easily add a keyboard shortcut to VS Code say at some point you were just messing around with the Visual Studio Code settings and you accidentally added some weird key binding and you want to undo that, right? Well, there's two easy options to do that. The first one is to go to the key bindings.json file. So you can again press Command Shift P, search for keyboard shortcuts, and it's going to take you to this key bindings.json. And here you're going to find all the key bindings that you've ever added. So you can just search for the key binding that, you know, you think you added incorrectly and you can just delete it. And once you save the file, the uh, thing is going to get removed and it's also going to get updated here. And the second way is to just search through all key bindings here. Suppose I want to remove the Zen mode toggle that I just added. So I can press command shift uh, M and here I can right click and I can either remove key binding or reset key binding. And suppose I don't even remember the key binding, you know, for some reason, I can just search for user. And where the source is user, these are the key bindings that you've specifically added. So you can just go here and search for uh, the Zen mode key binding that you added, which I guess is right over here. And I can just, you know, remove the key binding and that's going to remove it from here. And it's also going to remove it from our key bindings.json file. So at this point, you must be thinking, okay, why are there two separate ways that I can change the key bindings? Now, obviously this thing looks a lot more complex and it seems a lot easier to just do it through these shortcuts. What's the point of this key bindings.json? So the point of using the key bindings.json is that you can store these uh, settings in them on GitHub. And if you ever get a new computer, you can easily import these settings into your new VS code. So now you guys should be well versed in how to add commands, how to remove commands, how to search for keyboard shortcuts, and also um, the importance of the key bindings.json file. So in the next section, I'm just going to go over my specific key bindings that I added after you know working with VS Code and Vim for the last two years. 
So let's take a look at some of these key bindings that I've added now. I am an avid Vim user, so I do a lot of things with um, the home row. So H, J, K, L, these are sort of the things that I always like to map everything to. So one of the things that I mapped these things to is moving to the next or previous editor. So Command K goes to the next editor and Command J goes to the previous editor. So uh, as you can see, I'm pressing Command J to go left and I'm pressing Command K to go to the right. The next commands that I've got is to move the editor left or right. So sometimes when I open a new file, um, it is placed incorrectly inside of the editor. I used to do this a lot with the mouse and then eventually I got to the point where I was like, you know what, is it possible to do this in VS Code with a command? And it turns out it was. So the command is called move active editor, right? I'm going to press command control and then as soon as I start pressing J, it goes all the way to the left. If I press K, it goes to the right. So this is how I sort of move the files around in my workspace. So this next command is something that is super interesting if you're a full stack developer and if you're working with a lot of JavaScript. I added this control plus L command, which is gonna insert a snippet, control L, and you're gonna get this console.log and it's gonna put the cursor here so I can just start typing. So this is something that sort of helps me uh, debug really quickly. I have this IntelliSense extension, which basically, you know, provides these smart suggestions for me. And what I wanted to do was traverse between them using command J and command K. I didn't want to use the arrow keys to go up and down because that would mean, again, I'd have to move my hand away from the home row. So I remapped these things right here and now I can press command J to go down and command K to go up. And that's what these two commands are doing right here. And of course, I remap the same thing for uh, quick open. So quick open is when you press command P and it opens up all of these files that you can choose from. Say I want to go to a specific readme and I want to traverse them. I could use the arrow keys, but I didn't like that the way that felt. So again, I remap this to command J and command K to go up or down. And then of course I can press enter if I want to open that file. That's what, you know, this command is doing. It's allowing me to quickly traverse the options with Vim key bindings. And the last set of commands that I'm going to talk about are my VS Code integrated terminal commands. I added this one called command plus enter, which is going to toggle the terminal. So if I press command enter, right, I am toggling between the terminal. So if I press command control enter, then you're going to see here that the terminal is, you know, um, is, the code is still visible and the terminal is uh, not maximized. If I press it again, it's going to go full screen. So basically, I have these two commands to help me um, easily toggle the terminal and make it full screen or half screen. Command D, which is going to split the active terminal. So if I press command enter and then I go press command D, what I like to do is run the server on the right terminal and do any git commands on the left one or any other commands. And then command K and command J. Once again, you're going to notice that I really love these Vim commands. Basically what I'm doing with these commands is toggling between the left and right terminal. So um, right now I'm on the right terminal, right? So if I press command J, it's going to go to the previous focus group. If I press command K, it's going to go to the right one. So, you know, if you have more and more, it's, you know, if I keep pressing command J, it's going to loop in a circle like this. If I press command K, it's going to go to the right. You might be wondering, you know, what these commands are. So these were the old commands, for example, um, command K is replacing this command and you can tell that it's replacing it because it is the same command, right? Workbench action terminal next focus pane, except here what it has a negative sign in. What that means is that, um, you know, we are removing this key binding and we're adding this key binding. So if you ever see these negative signs in here, that's what we're doing. We're just sort of removing the old key bind and adding an, adding in the new one. The last uh, important thing is just, you know, command W to close the terminal. So uh, if I've got multiple terminals open like this, you know, I could just press command W to close all of them. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully now you guys have an understanding of what exactly is possible with the key bindings in VS Code and how to add and remove them. 
Now, if you enjoyed the video, then leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.